Lord has made. Let us rejoice. Let us be glad in it. Welcome to TLC Love Center Church. I am your man, Pastor Ed, the lead pastor of the Love Center Bible Fellowship Church. Come on in the room this morning. It is Wednesday, hump day in the city. It's already April the 3rd, 2023. Thank you for logging on 2024. Yes, 2024. We're not going back. We're moving forward. Amen. Thank you for logging on this morning and being a part of the broadcast. We're always humbled when you log on to the broadcast. We're grateful to God for this platform that we can come on every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and agree with you and thank God for his goodness and for his mercy. We so appreciate you and your support. Thank you for praying for us. Thank you for being partners with us. It's oftentimes we go around the city and we see people who say, to us that they enjoy the broadcast, the broadcast of being a blessing to them. So I just want to thank you personally for helping us make this broadcast what it is today. Your support, your prayers, your planting, your pushing us week after week. It's making a difference in our community and around the world. Amen. So thank you guys for being a part of the broadcast on tomorrow. And I am not alone. Amen. I have none other than um, the ladies that praise like you have never heard before, Minister Gwendolyn Williams, Minister Crystal Think, being cat, Minister Cat, somebody have an Amber Alert on, Amen. Praise the Lord, Amber Alert, Amber Alert. Praise the Lord, Amen. Thank y'all so much. Good morning, ladies. Thank y'all for being on the morning. Who's Amber Alert is that? <laughs> Not mine. Gwen. Not Gwen. It's not me. Is it you? Yep. No, I don't have an Apple Alert. But anyway, we have an Apple Alert. It's called the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. Um, <laughs> one of that Amber Alert went off. I met a lady yesterday in a restaurant. She said she had just moved here from um, St. Louis. And she said she had never heard so many amber alerts since she had been <laughs> wow. i was i'm so afraid because every day is an amber alert somebody snatching somebody's child i said no that's mad husbands running off with people's children that ain't somebody snatching them praise the lord good morning everybody thank you for logging on hey jewel good to see you good morning mom jones that's the goal good morning everybody in washington Thank y'all for logging on this morning. Glad to be on the broadcast this morning. We had a great weekend this past weekend. Great weekend. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And um, yesterday, Vicki and I had, and today, we're going to have to visit and spend some time with one of our loved ones. So if you don't see me on the broadcast, y'all know it's about family, amen. But anyway, thank y'all for a great weekend. For those of you who may not have heard the news, and many of you, may have already heard the news the love center has found a home in round rock texas i don't know the address amen give a lot of hand clap amen we found a home in round rock texas and from what i'm understanding demolition demolition was start from what i'm hearing from jamil kelly demolition will start on this coming saturday now y'all just bear with me as i gather the men of god together if you're a man of god and you're a member of the Love Center Bible Fellowship Church, I need as many men possible to join us at the site on this coming Saturday. I have to confirm it with Vicki because we cannot start the demolition until we get the insurance, amen? So um, Vicki is working on that for us. Can we give the Lord a hand clap for Sister Vicki, our legal advisor, amen? Grateful to God for her. And let me give a big shout out to my main man, Kevin Vincent. Who told me to stop calling the building a little building? They made <laughs> stop calling it little. So big shout outs to you, Kev. It's yeah, so good to hear that we're now going to be for the next four years. We're going to be in one place every Sunday. And yes, indeed, it's going to be great. And um, we're going to need all of our friends, members, and partners to help us in a um, financial endeavor. Uh, we have to. Um, raise the money to do the build out. We have money. Let me just let me clarify something. We we have we're gonna front the fifty thousand dollars or so to do the build out 
but we do not want to lose that financial integrity. So we're going to believe God in June that we raise $60,000 so that we can continue to grow. Yes, get a lot of hand clap. And so I'm asking everybody, everybody to support it with your best seed. Some of you have more than others, more than others. Um, it's only $55,000 because um, I've committed to give $5,000. And so we're only $55,000 away from our goal. So please pray about it more than any helping us so we go into this build out that we have done it debt free debt free that's what we want to start believing for as a ministry doing everything debt free <clears throat> the way you start is the way you finish amen so that's how we're going to start this ministry with a debt free mindset we don't ever want to have to borrow money we don't ever want to have to try to play catch up so please, guys, pray about it. If I can get as many as you as possible to start to sow now, and we'll give you a way to do it. It will be a special portal. It will be called the Round Rock Project. It will be in our push pay. And um, if you write a check and send it in, make sure you note Round Rock Project. Um, however you give it, make sure somewhere you note Round Rock Project, cash app Round Rock Project, and uh, we'll have those funds allocated, $60,000 by June. And if demolition start, and if we get those permits back in a couple of weeks or so, it's possible for us to be in the building Father's Day week. That That's that's a, a yeah, that's, that's a good place to give. But until then, we'll be back at the hotel for Mother's Day, amen, so that we can be a blessing to our mom. So we'll see you guys in Pflugerville, Texas on Mother's Day, man. But thank everybody for your support. We appreciate you. Guys, more than any, church family, more than any, we need you to make sacrifices. More than any other time, we need you to make that sacrifice and help us with that $60,000 goal. And I need as many people as possible to sow as much as you can um, so that we can get that goal met. This is not a time to come up missing, amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. It's the time for you to show up in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. We believe it's already done, amen. We believe it's already done. So all the men of God, we're going to ask you to help with demolition because at first we wanted to um, use somebody else to do it, but from what Jamil tells me, it would save us in the line of five or so thousand dollars if we did that demolition ourselves and that we can get it done. Ten men with some hammers, some 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 head hammers and some arms and some some backs and some whatever else, we can get the demolition done in two weeks and uh, we'll be ready for those permits to come back. And once those permits come back, we'll be ready to push forward and get the walls up and get the ceiling up and get the carpet down and get everything we need done, get the HDA system up, get everything done. So we have our new place to worship in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. So thank everybody for your prayers. Big shout out to our friend, Tony Bush. Can we thank God for Tony Bush? It was Tony Bush that brought this property to my attention. <clears throat> Minister Morgan had been looking and looking and looking. And I think some years ago, he looked at this property, came back, and uh, Tony Bush sent it to me. And we went out and looked at it. And she said, Pastor, y'all may be interested in this. And yes, when I saw it, I thought, well, I don't know. And then, of course, we saw the potential. And that's why we're in that building. So big shout out to our partners and our friends who pray for us and who look out for us, amen, in Jesus' name. Somebody say, I want to smash a wall up right now. <laughs> oh, Lord, Barbara, you know, we appreciate you. We thank you for wanting to smash your wall, Barbara. Hallelujah. Can we give God thanks on this morning? We thank you this morning, Father. Father, in the precious name of Jesus, we give you all the praise and all the glory. We thank you this morning for your word, that your word is truth without error. We thank you for the hearer of your word, that the hearer will become a doer. And Father, we think as we offer up these thanks unto you, Father, that every need that the believer have is already met, Father. We thank you this morning, Father, for the family, and we bless the family on this morning. We thank you this morning for the men of God. We bring these men of valor to you, and we give you praise this morning 
Father, that every attack of the enemy, we come against it right now in the name of Jesus, and we call those attacks canceled. We thank you this morning, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, that every attack that the enemy launches against the man of God's faith, we declare those assignments are canceled right now, that the man of God is strong in faith, always giving you glory. We thank you this morning, Father, that his faith would not fail. We thank you this morning that he walks by faith and not by sight, that the man of God God is never moved by what he sees, only by your perfect will. We thank you this morning, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, that every assignment that the enemy has launched against the man of God's physical well-being, we come against it right now, and we give you praise this morning, that the man of God walk in divine health all the days of his life. We thank you this morning, Father, no sickness, no disease, Lord, over his body. We give you praise this morning, Father, because of the anointing of your word, Father. The man of God is made whole. We give you praise this morning, Father, and we come against every sickness and every disease, and we declare that the man of God is healed in the mighty name of Jesus, healed from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. We come against all forms of cancer. We come against pancreatic cancer. We come against colon cancer. We come against prostate cancer. In the name of Jesus, we come against liver cancer. We come against lung cancer. We come against cancer of the brain. We come against cancer in the name of Jesus of the blood system. We thank you this morning, Father, that the man of God is healed and made whole in Jesus' name. We come against diabetic symptoms. We thank you that A1C numbers are low. We we thank you this morning in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That high blood pressure, we come against it right now. We come against hypertension in the mighty name of Jesus. We come against skin disorders in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you praise this morning. We come against glaucoma this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. We come against Parkinson's disease in the mighty name of Jesus. And we give you praise this morning that it's all under the blood. And we thank God that the man of God is healed. And we we declare that he takes up his bed and walk and we give you praise for it. We thank you this morning, Father, that your word says in 3 John 2 that you wish above all things that the man of God prosper and be in health even as his soul will prosper. So, Father, we give you praise that he's healthy. We thank you for Brother Ellis this morning. We speak the blessing over Brother Ellis. We thank you that his surgery goes well. We give you praise this morning, Father, that Brother Ellis make a full recovery in the mighty name of Jesus. And we give you praise for it. We thank you this morning that your word said that if we keep our minds on thee, that you will keep us in perfect peace. So, Father, we thank you this morning that as we keep our minds on you, you keep us in peace in every situation. We give you praise this morning, Father, that our peace will not be shaken and will not be moved by any circumstance or situation that the enemy throw our way. We thank you this morning, Father, that I will trust in you. We thank you this morning that we lean on you, Father. We we thank you this morning, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, that we would not be in fear, for you do not give us a spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind, and we thank you for it this morning. We thank you this morning, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, that the man of God is not stressed, filled with anxiety, and filled with worry. We thank you this morning, Father, that the man of God has in the name of Jesus joy, unspeakable joy, that his cup runneth over. We thank you this morning and Father, that the man of God is set free from all forms of addictive behavior. We give you praise this morning, and we come against the spirit of pornography. We come against the spirit of alcoholism. We come against the spirit of nicotine addiction. We come against all forms of drug addiction, and we thank you this morning that the man of God is healed and made whole in every area of life, and we give you praise for it. We thank you this morning, Father, that the man of God, hallelujah, that the man of God is strong in the earth realm and we thank you this morning hallelujah that he's blessed financially father we give you praise this morning that he's blessed in the city he's blessed in the field that increases his portion that abundance is his portion surplus is his portion good measures his portion press down shaking together 
running over is this portion. We give you praise this morning, Father, that the man of God lacks for nothing. We thank you this morning, hallelujah, that your word says that he's out of debt, Father, that debt freedom is your will for the man of God. And we thank you this morning that he's out of debt. Every one of his needs are met and the man of God has plenty more to put in store. We thank you this morning that he's blessed to be a blessing and we give you glory for it. We thank you this morning, Father, that the man of God is highly favored of you, Father, favored in the city, favored on this job. We give you praise this morning that increase, Father, in money is finding and looking for him. For your word says that the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous. And we thank you this morning, Father, because of his righteousness with you, Father, because you're his friend, Father, that you're making every crooked way straight in his life. We give you praise this morning, Father, that the man of God has abundance in every area. And we shout hallelujah. And we shout glory to God, Father. We lift up you this morning, Father. We cast all our cares on you as men, Father, because we know that you care for us. And we give you all the praise for it. We thank you this morning, Father, that the man of God is the head of his house, Father, leading his family. We give you praise this morning, Father. Hallelujah. That the man of God is a visionary. And we thank Thank you this morning, Father. We thank you this morning, Father, that the man of God is leading his family to the land of promise. And we give you praise this morning that not only is he leading his family, Father, but he's doing spiritual warfare on behalf of his family. We thank you this morning, Father. Hallelujah. That he and his wife go together in unity, that their prayers may not be hindered. We thank you this morning that his children rise and call him blessed. And we give you praise for it. We thank you this morning, Father, that everywhere he goes, his light is shining before men that they may see his good works and glorify the Father which is in heaven. We thank you this morning, Father. Hallelujah. That he like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth fruit in his season. His leaf should also not wither. And whatsoever the man of God do, it shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. And we give you praise and we give you glory for it. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus for every entrepreneur man, we thank you this morning that he's blessed Father, and his business in 2024 will expand. We thank you this morning that failure is not an option, that every setback is only set up for a comeback. We give you praise this morning that your word said that we be not weary and well doing, that we reap in new season if we faint not. So, Father, we thank you this morning for these men of action, and we give you praise this morning, Father, that there are men who act on your word, Father. We thank you this morning for Kevin Bush. We thank you for Ed Washington. We thank you. <laughs> Jeff Loveless, we thank you for Kevin Vincent, we thank you for Jerome Stone, Gerald Brewer, we thank you for Al Mason, we thank you for Jane Jacobs, we thank you for Joshua T. Scott, we thank you for Maurice Jones, we thank you for Juan Pavlon Stanley Hicks, we give you praise this morning for DeAndre Alexander, we thank you for Horace Gidrick, we speak the blessing over every man of God, we thank you for Remco this morning, I saw that man of God with his family. I just want to give God praise when we have united men of God in the house this morning. The family looks happy, look whole, and look complete. So we thank you this morning, Father, for these men of God that are leading their family. We give you praise. I thank you for Tony Hall this morning. I thank you this morning for that man of God. I give you praise for all of the TLC men. I thank you this morning for Amy Wright this morning. I thank you this morning for Kenneth Sims. I give you praise this morning and I give you glory this morning and I thank you this morning for these men of faith, Father, these men of honor, these men of valor. I thank you this morning in the name of Jesus for my brother Jason this morning. I bless that man of God. I thank you for his witness, Father. I give you praise this morning that he's on fire for Jesus. I thank you this morning, Father. Hallelujah. That he continue to do your will and we give you glory this way. I thank you this morning, this morning, Father, for Brother Calhoun this morning. I thank you for the entire men of God that are part of this church family. I thank you for every husband. I thank you this morning, Father, for every partner, men of this ministry. I give you praise this morning. I thank you this morning for Sheldon Layman. I give you praise this morning for Brother Bennett this morning. I want to give you glory for these men, Father. I want to thank you for their fire. I want to thank you for their faithfulness. Thank you this morning for their fruitfulness. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you glory this morning and we shout hallelujah. Father, I thank you this morning that your word says that the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous avails much. And so, Father, we thank you that our prayer to you, Father, has already revealed, already availed. That's why we come to you every day, Father, with thanksgiving in our heart. I thank you this morning that we don't worry about anything, Father. I give you praise this morning that we're true to what we believe, that we cast all of our cares on you, Father, because we know that you're not a man that can lie, nor are you the son of man that has to repent. If you said that you have to do it, Father. So, Father, we give you praise this morning and everything that we have come in agreement with. We thank you that it's already done. It's finished and it's complete. And so, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus is the highest praise. Father, I thank you this morning for these virtuous women, these women of faith this morning. And I give you praise this morning, Father, for these queens of the gospel. I thank you this morning, Father, that nothing is missing and nothing is broken from the lives of our sisters. I thank you this morning, Father, that they're blessed, Father, and will never be stressed. I give you praise this morning that they're the head and never the tail, above all, and never beneath. I thank you this morning that these women are more than conquerors. And I thank you this morning, Father, that you do not give them a spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. And Father, we lift them up today. I thank you this morning, Father, for my brother. I want to just minister to him this morning. I thank you for Anthony this morning as he's going through a very difficult season. I thank you that you strengthen him in the mighty name of Jesus, that you give him wisdom, Father. I thank you this morning, Father, that you comfort him in this very difficult time. And we give you praise this morning. We shout hallelujah. Father, we give you glory for our sisters. And we thank you this morning, Father, that every assignment that the enemy has launched against their faith, we come against it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you this morning, Father, hallelujah, that she's strong in faith, the faith of Sarah. We give you praise this morning that your will is being done in her life, Father. We thank you this morning, Father, that her faith will not fail in any situation. We thank you this morning that the woman of God stand on your word, Father, and we give you glory this morning that your word says, hallelujah, that a non we thank you this morning, Father. Yes, we give you praise this morning that she will not be weary. Thank you, Jesus, that you will not be weary, woman of God. You will not give up. You will not give out. And you will not give in. I give you praise this morning, Father, that your word said that if she be not weary in well-doing, she'll reap a new season if she faint not. So, Father, we thank you this morning for the anointing, God, that rests on her, Father. We give you praise this morning, Father, in the name of Jesus, that the woman of God is a fruit bearer. We give you praise this morning, Father, in the name of Jesus, that our trust is in you, that our reliance is on you. We give you praise this morning, Father, that she's bold and confident. She's the dominator in the name of Jesus. She's an overcomer. We give you praise this morning, Father, that she's soaring over every situation. We thank you this morning that the word is like the wind beneath her wings, and you're taking her higher and higher and higher, and we shout hallelujah. Father, we thank you this morning that every assignment that the enemy had lost against her faith, we come against it right now, and we give you praise for it. We thank you this morning that every assignment that the enemy has lost against our finances, we come against it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you that wealth and riches be in our house. We thank you that the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous and it finds its way to the woman of God. We thank you this morning that increases a portion, that abundance is a portion, that surplus is a portion, good measures a portion, pressed down and shaken together and running over is a portion. We thank you this morning, Father, that she don't lack for anything. We think that she's out of debt. Every one of her needs are met and that she has plenty more to put in store. We thank you this morning that she's blessed to be a blessing. Hallelujah. We thank you that every assignment that the enemy has lost against her physical well-being, we come against it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you this morning that she's healed by the stripes of Jesus and we give you praise this morning. Heal from all forms of cancer, cancer of the pancreas, cancer of the female organs. We give you praise this morning that she's healed from brain cancer 
cancer, heal from breast cancer, in the name of Jesus, heal from lung cancer, heal from all forms of blood disorders. We thank you this morning, Father, in the name of Jesus, heal from liver cancer, heal from lung cancer. We thank you this morning, heal from colon cancer, that the woman of God is healed, and we give you praise for it. We thank you she's healed from migraine headaches. She's healed from back pains, lower back pains. We thank you this morning, Father. She's healed from bulging discs in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you praise this morning. We come against knee diseases. We come against, Father, knee cartilages in the name of Jesus, wearing out. We thank you that you give them new knees in the name of Jesus. We come against it right now, and we call the woman of God healed. We thank you this morning she's healed in her mental well-being. We thank you that she has real peace, that she has real joy. We give you praise this morning that the joy of the Lord is our strength. We thank you that you do not give us spirit of fear, but love, power, and a sound mind. We come against anxiety. We come against stress. We come against worry. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give you praise this morning, Father. Hallelujah. That the woman of God, Father, she leans on you, Father. We come against oppression. We come against depression. We come against anxiety. In the name of Jesus, and we thank you this morning that the woman of God, Father, she has joy unspeakable joy that her cup runneth over. We thank you this morning that in excitement that the enemy has lost against her financial well-being. We come against it right now. We call the woman of God blessed. We thank you this morning that she has wealth and riches in her house. We give you praise this morning for wealth transfer, that the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous and it finds its way to the woman of God. We give you praise this morning that she has no lack for money. We thank you that she's rich, Father, bodily supplied, and we give you praise for it. Highly favored, Father. Everything her hands touch it prosper. Everywhere I'm tread you give it to her we thank it this morning father hallelujah for the woman of god we lift her up this morning financially father we speak to every debt that she has and we declare that that debt is canceled in the mighty name of jesus that you're raising up somebody with their powers and abilities to help her father in the area of finances we give you praise this morning we thank it this morning father that every assignment that the enemy has launched against her family we come against it right now she and her husband go out together in unity that their prayers may not be hindered. Her children rise and call her blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you that her sons and daughters, Father, in the name of Jesus, honor her and we give you praise for it. We thank you this morning, Father, for the entrepreneur woman. We speak the blessing over her business endeavor. We thank you this morning, Father, that you have given her creative ideas, inventions, Father, that bring her into wealth in the name of Jesus. We thank you that she She's rich, Father, and all of her needs are met, Father. So we thank you this morning for Mom Joyce James. We thank you for Yolanda Curtis, for Sherry July. We thank you for Rashonda in the mighty name of Jesus, Jerron. We thank you for Brenda Pavilon, Beverly Jones. We thank you for Bettina Gather. We thank you for Loma Scott and Lewis Scott. We thank you for Tammy Williams, Kelly Hicks. We thank you this morning for Penny on this morning. We give you praise this morning for Felicia Gidry, Karen Loveless, Tanya Rock. We thank you for Frida Renee. We thank you for Crystal Calhoun. We thank you this morning, Father, that you bless these women of God. We thank you for Don Brewer in the mighty name of Jesus. And we give you praise this morning. We thank you this morning for every businesswoman. We thank you for Jewel this morning. We thank you this morning, Father, in the name of Jesus, that everything that they touch, Father, it will increase, Father, and it will prove, Father, in the name of Jesus, to be your will, Father. We thank you this morning, Father, and we shout hallelujah. And we give you praise for these women of God. We bring Vicky before you this morning. We thank you this morning that she's highly favored in the courtroom. We give you praise this morning that she's highly favored, Father, in the name of Jesus, in the in the room, Father, amongst greatness, Father. We thank you that you continue to show her favor, that you continue, Father, to anoint her, Father, in the business of law, Father. We thank you this morning, Father, hallelujah, that you bless her, Father, because she blessed the kingdom that you bless her father she sows into the kingdom her time 
her talent and her treasure. So, Father, we thank you this morning that she receives a harvest on every seed song. And we lift up these women of God today. We thank you for these Proverbs 31 women. We thank you for these bold women, for these confident women, for these faithful women, for these fruitful women. We thank you this morning for these fearless women. We give you praise this morning that women are making a comeback in the body of Christ. We thank you for these preaching women, these praising women. We give you praise this morning for the fivefold ministry that rests on the women of God. And we lift them up this morning and we shout hallelujah because they already have the victory in Jesus' name. Come on, Crystal. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We just praise your name this morning, God. We give you all the glory and all the honor, God. We thank you, God, this morning, God, for the opportunity, God, to bring uh, children before you, oh God. And Father, we just pray, God, the, the blessing over children everywhere in Jesus' name. We pray, God, for protection over them, oh God. We thank you, God, that no hurt, harm, or danger comes nigh their dwelling, God. We plead your blood, God, over children, God, over the school. God, we thank you, God, that they are protected from any acts of violence in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, that no weapon formed against our children will prosper, oh God. We thank you, Father, that anyone that's plotting or scheming, God, to do something against children, we thank you, God, that their plans are exposed, God, and stopped in the name of Jesus. So, God, we just give you praise and we give you glory. We thank you, God, that your angels, God, we camp around about our school, God, about our children in Jesus' mighty name. Name. God, that they're protected in all their ways, God, that they're able to go to school and thrive, God, and learn, God. And so we just give you praise and glory for that. We thank you, God, that our children, God, are wise, God, in their studies, Father, that they have the mind of Christ, oh God. We thank you, Father, that every uh, assignment, God, they're giving, God, that they excel at it, God. Father, that they're ten times wiser than their peers, oh God. We thank you that you continue to highlight them, oh God raising them up, God, to be a light in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father, for favor, God, with their teachers and with administrators and all staff at school in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for more opportunities for our children, God, to do what, God, you called them to do in Jesus' name. So we give you praise and we give you glory for that, God. We thank you, God, for the gifts, God, in, that are being stirred up in our children, God. Father, for whatever uh, career, God, they pursue, God. We thank you for those gifts being stirred up, God. We thank you all for the ministry gifts, God stirring up for our children, God. Father, we thank you for the next generation, God, of pastors and apostles, God, and prophets and evangelists, God. We thank you, Father, God, that the kingdom is in good hands, God, that it will continue to flourish, God, that it will continue to stand, God. And so we thank you, Father, for doing a work in our children, oh God. Thank you, Father, that the word is working mightily in them, God. That they hear the voice, God, of the good shepherd and the voice of the stranger, they will not follow. So we give you praise and we give you glory, God. We come against, God, any type of perversion, God, promise yes, you, Lord. God, addictions, oh God. We thank you, God, that our children are free from that in the name of Jesus. God, that they're not afraid, God, to be different and to be alike, God. And we pray, God, for those children, those young adults that have straight away, God. We thank you in the name of Jesus that the seed of the righteous is delivered. God, we believe your word, God. If we pray, if we intercede, God, for others, God, Father, that they will be delivered. And so we thank you, Father, for deliverance. We thank you for rededication, God. We thank you for those, God, that will accept you for the first time. God, we just give you praise and we give you glory harvest of souls, God, that are being won to the kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, Father, that they will live, God, to tell of your goodness, God, and come back to their place in the kingdom of God. So, God, we just give you praise and we give you glory. We believe, God, that we will see a harvest, God, yes, of Lord. souls, God, won to the kingdom like never before, God. And we thank you, Father, for sending those souls, God, to the love center, God, to be disciples, God, yes, to be Lord. loved. God, to be trained and equipped, God, to go win more, win others, God, to the kingdom. And so, God, we just praise you. We give you glory. We give you praise, oh God. And now, God, we lift up our singles to you, God. We thank you for the single state, God. We believe, God, that the single state is a blessed state, God. We thank you, God, that the singles, God, maximize their time with you, God, that they're present, God, in this time, that they're enjoying, God, their lives, God, that they're not waiting, God, for someone else, God, but, God, that they find enjoy, God, they're finding 
of peace, God, their find in prosperity in Jesus' mighty name. God, we thank you that you bless the work of their hands, God. Father, bless them in their careers. Bless them in their businesses, oh God. Thank you for double, triple income, God. Multiple streams of income in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, God, there's nothing missing, nothing broken off of their lives, oh God. We give you praise and we give you glory. We thank you, God, for financial increase, God. We thank you, God, for uh, take cancellation for our singles, oh God. Yeah. We thank you, God, that our single parents, God, Father, that they are thriving and flourishing Yes, Lord. 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 Raising their children, God, with your wisdom, God, and with your strength, oh God. We pray, God, a special grace over them in Jesus' mighty name. God, we thank you, Father, for those singles that desire a make God. Father, that they uh, have been waiting, they've been believing and standing, God. We thank you, God, they won't get weary in well doing, oh God. But God, that they'll continue to hold past the profession of their faith without wavering, God. We thank you, God, because. You said in your word, God, if we delight ourselves in you, you would give us the desires of our heart, God. So we thank you, God, that we're in the season, God, where you're giving us the desires of yes, our heart, Lord. God, that you're bringing these couples together in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you, Father. Father, when they cross one another's paths, God, Father, that they'll know, God, this is the person that you have for me, oh God. And Father, that we'll begin to see weddings, God, like never before, yes, God. Lord. So we thank you. We stand in faith, God. Standing in agreement with those that are believing. We thank you, Father, that things are happening now, God. Father, that you're bringing things together now, God. And we thank you, Father. You said in your word, God, at the appointed time, you will do it, God. And so we believe, God, we're in that appointed time. And we give you the praise and we give you the glory, God, for all that you're doing, God, in us and through us. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Hallelujah. Come on, give the Lord a hand clap of praise. We thank God for our children and we thank God for those in that marriage state. Hallelujah. Come on, go in. Hallelujah. Father, we give you praise and glory and honor this morning. We bless your name. We thank you, Father. And we give, give you praise and honor for our seniors this morning in the name of Jesus. We lift up our seniors, Father. We thank you that our seniors are walking in divine health. We give you glory and praise that every senior is healed by the stripes of Jesus. We thank you, Father, that we're living long and strong and healthy lives in Jesus' name. Thank you that we got peace. Thank you that we have joy. Thank you that we have no stress, Father. Thank you, Father, and praise you that we're living supernaturally. We're living by faith and not by sight. We're dominating every situation, Father. We give you glory and praise that we're overcoming everything that the devil tried to throw at us. We bless your name this morning. We thank you that we have everything that pertains to life and godliness. We give you praise and glory and honor, Father, that we have all things rich that you enjoy. We seek and first the kingdom of God and all these things are being added unto us in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, and praise that wealth and riches are in our houses. Thank you that we're led by the Holy Ghost and we're not fulfilled the lust of our flesh. We have life and we have it more abundantly, Father. Thank you and praise you, Father, that we're free from worry, stress, strain, and struggle. Thank you that we're living by your word. We're doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you, Father, and praise that our minds are stayed on you. You keep us in perfect peace. Thank you that we're wise as serpents and harmless as doves in Jesus' name. Thank you that we're winning souls, Father. Thank you that we're examples to the younger people in the name of Jesus. We give you praise that we're blessed in these new enlarge our coast in Jesus' name. We give you glory and praise, Father, that our latter days are greater than our former days. Thank you that we're blessed every day of our lives. Thank you and praise you, Father, that we never be broke another day in our lives. We're blessed and we're being a blessing. Oh, God, we thank you that we're filled with the knowledge of your will and all wisdom and spiritual understanding. We're walking worthy of you. Thank you, Father, and pray that we're walking in our God-given authority. Thank you that we're overcomers. Thank you that we're dominators, Father. Thank you that we're more than conquerors in Jesus' mighty name. Thank and praise you, Father, that our organs are healthy. Thank you that they are working properly in the name of Jesus. Thank you that our bones are strong in Jesus' name. We're free from falling, Father, free from dizziness in the name of Jesus. We give you glory and praise right now. We cancel every assignment against our seniors. We thank you, Father, and praise that we're out of debt. Our needs are met. We have more plenty to put in store. We give you glory and praise, Father, that we are lenders and not bars. We're above only and never beneath. We're free from panic attack, Lord. Our nerves are calm. Our blood pressure is normal in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father, and pray that we're living in the overflow. We give you praise and glory and honor that we have multiple come in Jesus' name. Thank and praise you, Father. We let no corrupt communication come out of our mouth. We speak those things. We call those things that be not as though they were. We bless you this morning. We thank you, 
pray that we have discernment. We thank and pray that we will not be displeased. We thank and pray that we have an unction from the Holy Ghost. And yes, we Lord. Lord. We give you glory and praise, Father, that we're believers and we're not doubters in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you that the Holy Ghost is showing us every devil that try to come against us in the name of Jesus. We thank you that we have authority over all devils and nothing can hurt us. We thank you, Father, that we got we commune with one another and we're getting wisdom from you in Jesus' name and direction for our life. We bind any scammers. We bind any devils that's trying to take our money, take over our investments in Jesus' name. Yes, we Lord. We put the blood of Jesus over our bank account, over our investments. We put the blood of Jesus over our, our 401 cage, Father. We plead the blood of our all our financial stocks in Jesus' name. We thank you, Father. We lose the angels to go forth and arrest anybody and expose them to try to touch our finances in Jesus' mighty name. We find identity theft. We take authority over it. We thank you that our, we're blessed in our emotions, Father. Thank you that we have a happy life. Thank you, Father. Yes, we walk in truth. We walk by faith. We give you glory and praise this morning. We want to thank you for our sins. We want to praise you, Lord. Every senior is blessed. Thank and praise that we're forgetting those things that are behind. We thank and praise we're looking forward to the good life that you have for us. In Jesus yes, name. Lord. We thank you that we'll still be bringing fruit and be bearing fruit in old age in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you that we're willing and obedient and we keep the good of the land, Father. We thank you, Father. We're independent. We thank and praise we find that any harassing devil, any hindering devil to try to harass or hinder us in the name of Jesus. We're free from forgetfulness. Thank you that we got good recall. We're free from our Alzheimer's and dementia in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. We give you glory and praise that wealth and riches are in our house. We thank that we have increased in every area. Thank you that we're restoring the years that the canker worm, the palmer worm, the caterpillar, yes, the locust in the name of Jesus. Everything that the devil tried to take from us, we call it back in the name of Jesus. You said that when we find a, a thief, we make him pay sevenfold of his house. We give you glory and pray that we have increase in every area. We want to thank you for new opportunities for increase. New ideas for financial increase. We thank you for the hidden treasures of darkness, Lord. We choose life and blessings today that we and our seed shall live. We give you glory and praise that we free from oppression, depression, obsession. We're delivered from everything Satan tried to throw at us in Jesus' name. Thank you that we're the apple of your eye, Lord. We're fearfully and wonderfully made. We give you glory and praise for all you've done in our life. We don't thank you. We thank you, Father. We break the generation curses and we lose generation blessings in the name yes, of Jesus. Lord. We give you praise, Father, that we're righteous and we're bold as a lion. We speak the truth and love to every man that we may grow thereby. We thank you, Father, and praise you for our seniors. We thank and praise you for Brother Kenny Sims this morning. We give you glory and praise for him. We thank and praise for Brother Willie Scales. We give you glory and praise for Sister Deborah Driver, Brother Amy Wright Jr. We thank you for Pastor Sister Ricky in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you for Sister De Queen Whitaker. We give you glory and praise for Sister Ernest Wilson, Sister Bernadine Chapel. Thank you for Minister Betty Dillon. Father, we give you glory and praise for our singers. Thank you for Sister Thelma Williams, Lord. We give you glory and praise for her. Sister Kay Scales, we thank you for myself. We give you glory and praise Father, Sister Bernadette Franklin and Brother Howard Franklin, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, and praise you for Sister Linda Wilson. Thank you for Sister Marion Steamer, Sister Dorothy Stagall. We give you praise for Sister Cheryl White, Sister Joyce Bracken, in Jesus' name. Thank you and praise for Sister Rockland Cynical Higgins. We give you praise and glory for Shirley and Johnny Wilkerson in the name of Jesus. We thank you for every senior, Lord. All those that names we didn't call, we plead the blood of Jesus over them. We thank you that we have great days. We thank you that we have good time. We thank you that we're enjoying our lives, Father, in the name of Jesus. We give you glory and praise for every senior this morning. Father, we thank and praise for our TLC family. We cover every member with the blood of Jesus. We thank and pray that we bind the forces of hell to try to operate against the TLC family in the name of Jesus. We thank you that every TLC member is walking in divine health. We thank you and pray that we are free from any sickness and disease. Thank you that yes, no place is not dwelling in the name of Jesus. We thank you that we're walking in truth, walking by faith and not by sight. We're growing in the knowledge of you, Lord. We're living in the supernatural. We thank and pray that every member of TLC has a personal relationship with you. We give you all the glory and praise, Father. We thank you for souls being saved at TLC. We give you glory and praise right now for the harvest. We're expecting a great harvest, Father. We thank and pray that we've sowed seeds and we thank him for the harvest. Thank you for the unsaved, unchurched, and untaught. We thank and pray that they're running to TLC in the name of Jesus because the love that's being shown at the ministry in Jesus' name. We thank and praise you, Father. We pray for the 
in the name of Jesus of this world. We plead the blood of Jesus of the Christian vice president over all those in authority in the name of Jesus. We thank and pray that they're saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. Thank you that they're led by the Holy Ghost. Thank you for our Father, we pray for them in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the fine help for them. Thank you they've already been made whole. Thank you for the fine protection, Father. Thank you to go in the highways and byways to share your We thank you for financial increase, Lord Father. We thank you and pray for goodness from the Holy Spirit. We plead the blood of Jesus over their family, over their mom, over their siblings in the name of Jesus. Yes, we thank Lord. Thank you for everything is well with them in the name of Jesus. Thank you that they're walking in divine health. Thank you that every need is met for them, Father. We cover them with your blood today in the name of Jesus. We give you all glory and praise for our TLC family. We thank and praise for our members. We thank and praise for our partners. We give our friends and supporters in the name of Jesus. We bleed the blood of Jesus over them. We thank you that they're walking in divine health. Thank you that all their needs are met. Thank you that no weapon formed against them. We thank you for more partners. We thank and praise you for new souls. We thank you for new souls being saved. We give you glory and praise. We thank you for more prayer warriors. Thank you for more intercessors in the name of Jesus. We give you glory and praise that you are blessing us with everything you already done it. Thank you that we're growing, Lord. We're growing the grow. We thank you that we're growing in grace and the knowledge of you, Father. We thank you that we're maturing in Jesus' mighty name, that we're no longer children tossed to and fro. We thank you in praise right now, that we're walking in the word. We're not doubters. Thank you that we're doers of this word. We're not doers of Thank you that we're taking the word in our spirit and doing what it says in Jesus' name. We give you glory and praise, Father. We lift up all those that have been lost loved ones in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the comfort and ministry of the Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. And joy like never before. We thank and praise you for the oil of joy for morning, Father. We thank you for the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. We thank you for strengthening them. Thank you for letting them know that you're with them. You'll never leave them and never forsake them in the name of Jesus. We give you praise right now. We come against all forms of sickness and disease that try to attack down any of our bodies in the name of Jesus. We thank and praise your word so that no plague shall come to our dwelling. We give you praise that our, all our family members have accepted Jesus. We thank and praise that our yes. children, children, great children, great nieces, and children, great children, nieces, nephews, and cousins, all of them accepted Jesus as their Lord and their Savior in the name of Jesus. We thank you that you're with our families. Thank and praise that you're taking care of every family member right now. Your presence is going with us in Jesus' name. We thank you, Father, and praise that we're caring for one another at TLC. We thank you that we're esteeming one another better than ourselves in the name of Jesus. We thank you that your love will be shed abroad in our heart by the Holy Ghost. We give you all praise right now. We call the crop failure to every negative word that's been yes, spoken Lord. through this ministry in the name of Jesus. We say every lying tongue will be stopped in the name of Jesus. We thank you that we're growing spiritually, physically, financially, intellectually, emotionally in Jesus' name. We only speaking good things over this ministry and over each yes, other. Lord. We curse every negative word, Lord. We thank you that we are new, are new creatures. Thank you that we are blessed. Thank you that we have abundance. We have more than enough. We give you glory and praise for the marriages, for families, Father. We thank you that husbands and wives are loving one another, esteeming one another. Thank you and praise that they're submitting to one another is unto the Lord. We bind any divorces in the name of Jesus. We thank you that the devil cannot come in and take any marriages in Jesus' name. You said what you have joined together, let no man put asunder. We give you praise for every marriage. We thank you and praise you, Father, for newness in these marriages. We bind every spirit of uncleanness, low self-esteem. We bind yes, poverty Lord. and lack in the name of Jesus. We thank and praise for our permanent place of worship. We thank and praise that every need is met for it. It's already paid for. We give you glory and praise, Father. We plead the blood of Jesus over it. We thank you that every contract is blessed. We give you glory and praise for the work that's going to be done, the workers that are going to do it in the name of Jesus. We just want to thank you that you've already supplied everything we need for that project. We give you glory and praise right now. We thank and praise your Father. We bless you this morning. Thank you and praise for our board members. We plead the blood of Jesus over John and Gloria Morgan and their family. We thank you that everything is well with them. No weapon formed against them shall prosper. We give you praise for Doris and Dan Montgomery. We cover them and their children, their grandchildren with the blood of Jesus. We thank and praise that they're healthy. All is well with them in Jesus' name. Thank you for Lisa and Steve Ross, their children and their grandchildren, Father. 
We cover them with your blood. We thank you that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. We give you praise for Cain and Willie Stale, their children and their grandchildren. We thank you and praise that all is well with them. Thank that they're blessed they're on top. No weapon formed against them shall prosper. We give you praise, Father, for me, my children, my grandchildren, and my great grandchildren. Oh, we thank you that they're blessed with the Lord. They're covered by your blood, Father. We thank you for miracles happening at TLC. Yes, we Lord. thank you for signs and wonders, Father, for following your word in the name of yes, Jesus. Lord. We thank that we're believers and we're not doubters, Father. We thank you that your love is shared abroad in our heart, Lord. We thank you and pray that we live in love, we're teaching love, and we are love. We give you all the glory and all the praise this morning. We thank you that every TLC family is blessed. We thank you and pray that we're on top. We thank you that we're more than in Jesus' mighty name. We give you glory and praise for all you've done, what you're doing, and what you're going to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, give the Lord a hand clap. Father, we thank you this morning and we agree with Sister Solomon. We thank you, Father, that her family is blessed, Father. We lift up her and her husband on this morning. We thank you this morning that you know every need that they have. And so, Father, we thank you this morning and come in agreement with her for her family. We thank you that no weapon formed against her family, that her and her husband dwell together in unity. We thank you, Father, that whatever their needs are, you already know, and Father, you will meet their needs. We thank you that the five, the, the word of God says, Father, in the name of Jesus, where the people will want nothing they imagine to do will be restrained from them. And so, Father, we thank you that the Solomon family is one, Father. We thank you that the devil, any activity that he may have attempted to bring to this family, we call it canceled in the mighty name of Jesus. And we give you praise for it. We thank you that this woman of God, that you give her peace in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you that you said in your word, Father, that you hear the cry of your people. So, Father, we thank you because she has cried out and asked us to agree with her. For her and her husband, we give you praise this morning, Father. That you would send the answer, Father. And not only will you send the answer, but your verse says in Jeremiah 33, 3, if we call unto you, you will answer us and you will show us great and mighty things. So, Father, we thank you that you show her great and mighty things, which she knows not how. And we give you praise and we give you glory for it. We thank you this morning, Father, that all the prayers that have already been prayed, we give you praise this morning, Father, that you've heard us and we thank you for it and we give you praise for it. Now, Father, we leave this place, Father, hallelujah, with a confidence in you, Father. We leave this place, Father, because we have offered up thanks unto you this morning with a great expectation and father we give you all the praise for it and we give you all the glory and we shout hallelujah and we shout hallelujah and remember here at the love center we live love we teach love we are love we'll see you back on the broadcast please once again if you do not see me on the broadcast it's because we're dealing with a family matter please keep my brother anthony lifted keep my nephew lifted, keep my entire family lifted as we continue to believe God for miracles, signs, and wonders. May God bless you. Somebody say amen. May he flood your life with abundance, health, wealth, and prosperity. And uh, may your latter days be greater than your former days. In Jesus' name, TLC, to all of our friends and partners, join us this summer in Round Rock, Texas as we bring the love to Round Rock, Texas. If you're in the Round Rock, Texas area, look out. There's a lot of great things that go on in Round Rock. You got Round Rock Donuts. You got Kala Hamari Resort. But I'm telling you, in just a few weeks, the Love Center will be right in Round Rock, Texas, shining our light bright so that we can bring the people of God to love. Amen. We'll see you guys on the broadcast. We'll give you an opportunity to hear more about it. Don't forget I believe demolition will start on this coming Saturday. Jamil Kelly said we can start this Saturday. I'll be sending an email out to all of the brothers. If you are a skilled laborer, if you know how to use a hammer, if you know how to use a saw, if you know how to use a, a, a whatever the case may be, a pickaxe, if you know how to do plumbing, if you know how to pull carpet, if you know how to do anything, meet us at the location. We'll give it to you in a few days, and we'll see you there. Peace out, guys.